Welcome back to the Canadian Entertainment Podcast. This is episode seven, and we thought with episode seven we would change things up a bit. Uh, I re- received a DM, uh, mm. received a DM in uh, in my inbox today saying, "Ben, could I do the pod?" And I looked at who sent it, and it was one of my oldest friends. Mm. Mr. Sam Burns, everybody. Give it up for Sam Burns. Howdy doody, Missy Lady. How we doing? Oh, we're doing perfect. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Well, thank you for having me. Um, I know it, it said it was me, but it's actually a bot. That's the thing. Well, it was my agent. My agent. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he operates yeah. your social media. I'm off the socials now. Okay. So, yeah, so I just hired this kid who's my agent, and he uh, he messages all the podcasts, because that's kind of the future right now. That's awesome. So that's what happens when... So you got you got fifteen fifteen k views on the new special, and then yeah. you you were you you hired the yeah. I said I need a break. I oh. need it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, he's my agent. His name is uh, Lonnie. Oh, I mean, oh, cool. Lonnie McDowell. Now you could tell a Gen X parent name that. Name yes. That. Is it is he Gen Alpha? He's uh yeah. I guess. Well, what's Gen Alpha? That's uh, what year were they be born? I think it's before. Because he's 2006. He is 2014. Okay, so he's yeah. for 2014. Yeah. So he's 10. Oh, yeah. So he's 10. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's 10. Young, but smart. Really smart. smart. As I've, I've, lots of these kids, they grow up with technology. I've heard some people say that, like, we're getting closer and closer to being, like, our intelligence is going to be combined with AI intelligence, and I think these Gen Alphas are kind of halfway there. You They're know? already there. Yeah. No, you should see them. You should see them uh, get a clip together. He does all my clips uh, now. I'm sure he just he closes his eyes and kind of like... Oh, it's just simple for them. I mean, for us, it was what? Uh, paper pencil? Paper pencil. Yeah, you do a T9. paper edit. Yeah, yeah, T9. And no, no, these guys... Mm. Well, these guys, the thing is, is unlike us, who I assume we're both... Uh, um, you know, we were born most likely breastfed or whatever. We got yep. milk and stuff. These guys come out of the womb, iPad, milk app, yep. milk app, straight milk, app. milk app, dispenser. You know? yep. Yeah. And you know what I've heard? Remember uh, when the, the iPhone or whatever came out initially, uh, that beer app you could have not good for a kid. It's not good. It's really for bad. A kid. Well, it yeah. promotes drinking, right? It promotes drinking. Yeah. And, um, there's a lot of studies shown that the gen alphas that are in trouble, they start off with that uh, mm-hmm. beer app. It's it also it all starts as a, a fun little game. Eh? Yeah, it all starts as fun fun little games. Uh, I I mean we, I'm sure we could think of a few people right now. <laughs> they got their hands on the beer drinking app at too young and the lighter the yeah, lighter app yeah, too. Yeah, lighter app. Yeah, and now they're uh, arson arson yeah. arson are some perpetrators and victims you know yes. you find yourself on both sides of the fire when you get that both sides when you get that app, what's it called so. where you love fire what's that called i think it is called pyromania pyromania yeah yes. yeah oh i remember a few kids telling me that <laughs> but like being serious oh, that they are a pyromaniac they're like i'm a pyromaniac yeah. and they had like firecrackers yeah no i'm obsessed with it no it's it's real yeah it's real like they feel yeah. like it was like a sickness <laughs> yeah i hate it i actually hate how much i love like fireworks yeah they try to like uh get out of trouble <laughs> in a recess from it yeah because there's a lighter in yeah. class well i'm a pyromaniac yeah. i need it it's how i cope i'm stressed oh man there's this guy that i went to school with holy holy rosary waterloo ontario mm. I, uh, he's kind of a bit of a troublemaker but i hu- hung out with him you know was scared of him but liked him a lot uh i'm sure he won't care 
Neil Neil Keyswider. Like, <laughs> like, but I remember one time. What a last name! I remember one time, our teacher was like, he was always getting in trouble, and one of our teachers was like, Neil, what are you doing? And it's like when she was teaching a lesson or whatever, mm. and they was just like cutting a battery. <laughs> <laughs> just like, in class, just cutting a battery. <laughs> Oh, that's insane! Yeah, I love that. I, I, and another, I like. I think a couple days after, we're or maybe it's the same day. He was just on one that, that day. Like we're outside our school after like school had finished. And he just took a dime and he swallowed it. I feel like <laughs> have you done that before? I feel like have you swallowed? <laughs> I uh, something similar. Yeah. Uh, oh my god! There's yeah. There's a a girl that uh she was like one of the guys and she was combing her hair this was grade eight yeah and uh she had all this hair on her brush and she threw it into the wind <laughs> and i chased it down grabbed it and swallowed it <laughs> you swallowed the brush no her hairball oh, oh. Yeah. she threw her hairball oh, into the air and i yeah. chased it down and so that was like grade eight and then i think like i don't know in college i went back to barry for uh like for christmas or something yeah Ran into her at the bar. That was like the first thing she <laughs> yeah. mentioned. She's like, "You remember doing that?" She's like, "That really like was unsettling. Like, yeah. it, it kind of like upset me." And I was like, "Yeah, that was that was weird." But you know, Jackass was I big. I know Jackass was big. Was, I made my friends laugh. I know, know? and that's yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it is. I really wonder what like ki- if the if kids these days. No, I think that is still like in just like making. You know, some maybe not as much as like when we were kids. Yeah. Like, well, you know what the difference is. Yeah. I think kids now are probably still doing stupid things. Yeah. But the camera's out. I know. The phone. The, the, yeah. Everything's being recorded. Yeah. I remember it was hard to. When as a kid at a time, it was hard to record a jackass stunt and figure yeah. out how to get it on a computer and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. it looked terrible. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, you needed like a friend. It was the smallest video. Yeah, 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 like 720. Yeah, yeah, you need to blow it up. It's like four squares. Oh, there's actually a video, I think it's still on YouTube. Uh, my friend shot it on his, I want to say his Motorola Razor. Yeah, and it's me tackling him off of a a green box, (laughs) but it's like four giant pixels. That is crazy, (laughs) and you can't even see it. Oh, yeah, it's on YouTube, and you just see this one pixel hit another pixel and it falls. It probably looked great at the time on like a little oh, couldn't believe it. A little uh phone, Uh, couldn't believe it, and then being like upload to YouTube. Yeah, whoa, really? It was was fascinating. Wow, what a crazy time. Yeah, Those crazy are some time. of the first videos ever uploaded. You're part of it. Yes, it's the well the first YouTube video is the zoo. I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've this. seen the zoo, yeah. And then then it's me tackling Chris Cuthbert wow, off of Greenbox. That's box. amazing. Yeah. And that's just stored somewhere in Silicon Valley, right? Mm-hmm. Close, probably in the same little hard drive as the zoo the one. Same so one. that's pretty I think it has eight point million views. That is great. Yeah. Dude, you monetize or no my because you're miners or well it's on chris's channel so cuthbert gets all okay the, so he's raking it in yeah. has a house has a house great you know what big sweet guy I, he yeah hey he deserved it he was the one yeah. that that got hit after all he was the guy that got hit dad was a cop okay well there you go <laughs> there you go and i don't know if you know this but in barry i was actually telling someone about this and they didn't believe me in 2011 or 12 there was a a a big thing that happened. There was a a murder that happened in the seventies, yeah. And the cold case, whatever. They they were able to find this guy, and he lived on my old street. Okay. I wasn't living there at the time. Yeah. But um, Chris Cuthbert lived on the same street as me. And anyways, this guy murdered a woman with his dad in the seventies. Okay. Yeah. And he was he lived two doors down from me, and they went into his house, and he had all these bombs. Wow. And it was all over the news. And uh, it looked like Hurt Locker. Like, they had the sandbags yeah. out and, like, the robots going yeah. in. Yeah. But anyways, my f- Chris was still living there, <laughs> and he got to stay in a hotel for, like, two weeks. Oh. And I thought that was the coolest yeah, thing I, ever. I, I would have been so jealous. <laughs> He's like Zach and Cody, right? I, That's what I thought. Yeah. I was like, oh, you're in a hotel? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Meanwhile, like, his house might explode. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I, big news story. I just can't believe that the... Barry Police Force has a robot on hand, eh? I, <laughs> Who's I wanna, operating that? I, I know. I want to look into it, but I feel like they flew people yeah, in. Yeah, flew like, like some a bomb serious, squad. Yeah, probably like some army guys or whatever. It was crazy, yeah. though. You turn on the new VR, or I guess it was A Channel. Yeah. And like, guy in the big suit. And then like my house is That's like so right scary. there. My That's old house. That's crazy. 
Yeah. He was a weird guy. Yeah. He'd always be shirtless and he'd sit on a lawn chair. Yeah. Never talk to anyone. Yeah. Hey, fit, but yeah, he was putting so much time into his work downstairs, I guess. I guess, oh, well, that and murdering someone. So well, like, that, yeah. yeah. Murdering someone and then living with it. Yeah, yeah. You just <laughs> want to build a bomb. With your dad, too. That is so crazy. Murdering a person with your dad is kind of wild. I don't Yeah, know. I don't. <laughs> I couldn't Bonding. do it. Couldn't do it. Bonding experience, I guess. Couldn't uh, do no. it. <laughs> no, I'm, when you were in, like, when you were a kid or like teenager in your like jackass sort of time i know that probably like with you like it comes it flares up every once in a while you know every it now comes and then back, eh? every it's now kinda, and then it's kind of like a yeah. weird like every now and then like coming back from war sort of thing like <laughs> ptsd yeah, yeah. yeah jtsd i see a shopping cart yeah. i'm like ooh, ooh. no 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 food goes in there yeah not not short friend yeah. <laughs> we all have a short friend you put in the shop and yeah cart, send yeah. him into a bush yeah yeah Try- flares up yeah not so much anymore i haven't had a i haven't had a flare up in a bit but definitely if i'm around certain people yeah you'll you'll get friends, kicked in the nuts kicked in the nuts drink something weird yeah actually i sh- it's I, I said i didn't have a flare up but uh i went on a camping trip okay like two weeks ago yeah yeah we just my there's my berry friends yeah, we just made a, an insane drink. Oh, okay. Whoever lost in cards had to drink it. My wife friend did. <laughs> puked everywhere. Also, public, like, provincial oh, Okay, so you're a camp. So there's yeah. a family yeah. maybe 10 feet away oh. from us. And my friend's throwing up. And we're all laughing. Ah. That's. Did you do that as a kid, too? Like, that sort of, like, put anything in a drink sort of Blender? thing? Blender? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I did, too. I did dish soap once. Oh, did you like it or no? No, 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 no. But I remember doing dish soap and people being like, yo, that's too no, much. Did, I, I remember once at one of my friends' house, we did this for a couple of years. We'd be like, all right, we'd call it like concoctions. That's what <laughs> we call it, concoctions. And one time someone put, like, I didn't even drink it, but I was in the vicinity of it. Just like a bunch of stuff in a thing. And I was good with the smells until they put the ketchup and mayonnaise in it that oh. it just smelled so oh. bad yeah i don't know i feel like once i uh yeah similar or once i start thinking about what's in it yeah because uh i remember like if i would drink it and then i'd actually be like okay i'm fine but then i would think of what i just did yeah and then that and then you start really tasting everything and then there's like coffee grounds yeah. in there and it's like oh it's brutal yeah, you start really visualizing everything that <laughs> went down. It's like Osmosis Jones, kind of, you know? Really bad. It's also really awkward. I remember uh, we played Mario Party, and then whoever lost in Mario Party would have to drink uh, this thing. And anyways, our one friend who lost, he never... He hated, like, doing this stuff. Yeah. And so he drank it, and then he threw up, but then was, like, quiet all night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And then uh, we all just like walked home, and he was just like, "It's like awkward." If yeah, someone... it doesn't. Yeah, if someone doesn't take it well, and then they're just like, "Yeah, I also, did it." Yeah, they're happy. Also, doesn't leave. <laughs> like, yeah, he... sits quiet. Yeah, no, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> it is really weird when like um, a teenage, <laughs> a teenage boy gets mad. And you're like hanging out. Oh, it's the like, worst. One of my good friends. I don't know if, I, yeah, but when we were kids, uh, he would always kick a kid out of the house, like That's for like crazy. beating him at a video game or something like That's that. That's crazy. He'd be like, would he be you like, you go home. cheated? Yeah, he would, he'd be like, get out of my house. He'd say, get out of my house. Oh my god. Yeah. And would you, the kid think he's kidding at first? Uh, people like, were, no, seriously. no, people were, people were, people respected him. <laughs> You just left. You knew it was time to go. It was like a, you beat the it was like Survivor kind of, <laughs> <laughs> like Survivor. You just had to go. You did you no ever? Choice. Did he ever tell no, you? No, he never. He never kicked me out. I was such a like. Would you throw games? I would never. I was such a like as a kid. I was. I just never wanted to like get into any fights or anything like that. But I remember one thing that would always happen is I'd go over to his house, and <laughs> I would just like 
he would never play two player games or co op games. He'd always oh. just be playing by himself. Oh. And I'd just be watching for hours. He'd never let me play. Oh. And I remember complaining to my mom once about it. And then my mom <gasps> complained to his mom. And then, Come and on. then, uh, I remember his mom just being like, "Okay, you guys got to play like this game, so Ben can play too." Oh, that was, oh, oh, yeah. That could never stand up for myself. Yeah, yeah. that probably did something, eh? That yeah. Oh, did, did something. Yeah. That did some oh, that, yeah. The wire. Oh, I'm just not gonna say anything. that is a bad <laughs> wire. That is a really bad wire cross right now. Oh yeah. I think we could both relate on that. Mom's mom's sticking oh, up for us. Oh, it's, it's the too, worst. It's it's affected me. So oh, same badly. here. I th- I've told you the story before, but <laughs> my best friend, uh, Josh, in grade five, we were playing around. We were horse playing, and he like shook me, yeah. and I hit my head on the wall, <laughs> and that was it. And it and I cried because it hurt. But he was like apologizing, and it wasn't on purpose or anything. Yeah. But he had a bad reputation in school. Yeah. <laughs> and so word got around with all the moms because none of the moms liked them. Yeah. And then word got around that he like smashed my head off the wall. <laughs> and then the next day, oh, it was like winter time. We were in portables. That's where our class was. And we left. And my mom was in the schoolyard. Oh. And she saw him. And it's she's never like, a good sign. Never a good sign. Mom's <laughs> in the schoolyard. Like Clint Eastwood. Oh, right yeah. <laughs> she, had, she had like a long winter <laughs> coat on too. Like a big blue coat. Uh, kind of looked like a, like a spaghetti western. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what is Wait she about? To, what is she about to, to do? Out. And she sees him, and she's like, come here. And she's like, you never touch my son again, okay? You never touch him again. I'll call the cops if you ever do that. And she goes, Sam, come here. And the kids formed a circle around them. Like they were fighting. Like it was like fight club. There's a full circle. And like all all the girls were like laughing. And like my other friends were like being like, yo, Sam's mom's going off. And then she like grabbed me by the hand. And then we walked out holding hands. And I can hear like kids laughing, being like, what was that? Yeah. And oh yeah, and then uh, and then the next day, I just see Josh. I'm like, we're not allowed to hang out. And then we would just have to like stay separated. It was kind of like a what do you? I don't know, like a romance novel. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not allowed to be together. We're not allowed to be together. It's like Romeo. It was. And then like if we were at the lockers, we would be like, so how are things? Yeah. Uh, Oh good. (laughs) The Betchers and the Burns. The Betchers and the Burns. And well. I, I got babysat by this kid's mom, and he was kind of like the mole. Like, he was like oh, the... Oh, Randall from He recess. was, and he yeah. would, like, relay the message. That's so great. I saw Sam talking to her, or talk, talking to him and all that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was a lot. But then we so... turned to be friends. Now my mom likes him and all that, but that's, it's... that's a, that was a moment in my life. Ma, like, parents... When their kids are growing up, they, like, go through some crazy stuff. <laughs> you get, like, it's so weird that, like, you would think, like, sometimes a mom's compulsion is, like, to not at all think about, like, a kid's embarrassment. Not at all. It just doesn't... No. Safety over embarrassment, I yes. guess. But it's a weird way of dealing with things. Like, I... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh... Yeah, I think my I don't know. I, I, again, I don't have kids, so I don't know the yeah, no, feeling I know, you know, I know. of like maybe your kids in danger. Yeah. But yeah, really like <laughs> jump the gun yeah. on that one. You know what? One time I this was actually going over my head uh, a couple days ago, but I either is I was in a men's locker room after uh, like a public swim or like swimming lessons and my dad was there too and i think maybe my brother was there too we were just getting like changed and then these like older guys were like (laughs) were were, like i would say they're probably like in their 20s to 30s oh wow much older yeah yeah okay we're there so it must have been public swim or something but i think they sprayed something on a coin and they're like hey kid touch this or whatever oh no and i touched it and it was just like really cold and i was like whatever okay but then my dad came out like and was oh. like hey don't like talk to my son or like oh. something weird and i was so embarrassed but now like looking back on it like yeah imagine being like in your 20s or 30s and like talking to like a kid under no. like it's very weird yeah like that's so weird but yeah. i remember like not until a couple weeks ago was i like I just remember at the time being like, Dad, like, chill out. You're just <laughs> showing me a really cold coin. But that is so weird to do. That's so weird. You just gave me a memory of 
I was at a bar with my dad. We were at a Moose Winooski's, funny enough. Yep. And now it shocks. Yeah, okay, there we go. And uh, we're at a, uh, so we're sitting at the bar. There's like a hockey game on. And there was these two old dudes beside me. And the guy was like, hey, man, what's your name? And I was like, oh, Sam. I, I'm also like 10. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm a child. And he's like, well, what are, you, what are you drinking? You want a drink, buddy? And I already had a, yeah. like a Sprite or something like yeah. that. And I was like, oh, I'm good. And then my dad goes, hey, he's got a drink. Leave him alone. Yeah. And the guy's like, all right, I'm just, you know, if he wants another uh, pop, I can get yeah. it. And my dad's like, stop talking to him. And, and, he, and the guy's like, all right, dude, Jesus. Yeah. And I remember, like, feeling so uh, awkward. Yeah. And, uh, and and I guess at the time being like, what, he just wanted to buy me another pop. Yeah, but... But then my dad's like, he's good. Leave him alone. Like, yeah, this is a weird thing off. to do. I'd never just buy a kid. But then, yeah, now looking, yeah. being this age, I'm like, if I see a kid with his yeah. dad, I'm not going to be like, yeah, you want a pop, buddy? Yeah. What? <laughs> it is weird as hell. I, that actually just brought up another memory, which is so crazy. <laughs> nice. But We're flowing. I know. I, I just was thinking about how one time, I think I was in kindergarten or so, and I was at like a Blockbuster with my mom, and near the Blockbuster was like the local high school, and in the Blockbuster, there was just like some girls there. And uh, we're like ch- like checking out a movie or something, and like one of the girls, like they're just like being like nice or whatever. It was like, uh, here, like do you, do you want some candy or whatever? Yeah. And I was like, sorry, I don't accept candy from strangers. <laughs> Kindergarten. Nice. Yeah. Nice. As prime, my mom was there too. I probably, but I, I, you know what? As a kid, like I just like, I guess I didn't really like comprehend why that like rule was there right. but i thought just, i think i was like maybe there's poison in it like they're just yeah. offering me imagine being so bold <laughs> in a b- high school girl yeah. offering a kid poison from his mom that probably made your mom feel good though. yeah and yeah. like he is he'll say no to anyone yeah and on paper it is a stranger yeah it's it is a, i know i fall <laughs> you did everything right i checked all the boxes right yeah but yeah. I don't think they had bad intentions, but it, yeah. Now I got to ask you this. Halloween time. Parents checking the candy. Oh, of course. How thoroughly did they it, check you it? You dump it out. It's TSA. How th- TSA. <laughs> How thoroughly did they check everything? I, they, pre- oh. <laughs> that just reminded me. My parents were very, like, uh, loved everything being equal between me and my brothers. Interesting. So we dump the the pillowcases out yeah and then we divide them each like each <laughs> each brother gets like the same sort of thing so, so, like, it, so it's equal yeah yeah everyone that's gets a what it was like yeah wow yeah that's kind of like a what do you commune. call it commune like commune yeah. Yeah. everyone's equal yeah so yeah. that's that's the type of thing that they sort of did <laughs> very strange now, did you have the you had the gluten thing back then? Too? Well, I didn't find out. Until, I didn't find t- out till uh, when I was in grade seven. So I had a, a, a number of years of just freedom. Freedom. So then, grade seven, are you now chucking candy to your buddies, being like, "Can't have this." You know what? That? I think it was spring of grade seven s- s- that I found out. So it wasn't until grade eight Halloween that it was in in place and i don't know if i went out to i don't know if i went out in grade eight or not interesting i went out a couple times in high school though but grade eight <laughs> like i think i was very transitional nice period that i wasn't sure you know interesting yeah nice but uh yeah there's a lot of candies that aren't gluten-free Sad. smarties it's very horrible smarties People aren't gluten-free no of course not come on no one wants to talk about it but yeah and what... and, and they're canadian too yeah you, th- you would think that a canadian company would do something but no. at least have an option nope they do not option. they do not but i remember like like smarties are different than m&ms they are they're very different candy co- but they have malt in them oh is that what it is yeah so maybe that's the secret sort of thing what the hell because yeah. yeah they are a little different than m&ms they got a little. Uh, I think they're crunchier. The shell's yeah. bigger. And, yeah, it's more. Flat. Yeah, it's more. It's more candy coating than chocolate. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Work on that. Work on that. Work Smarties. On be We'd better. Love, be better. One hundred percent. But uh, ho- let's. I'll give you Halloween twenty twenty five. Not even this one. So, nice. Yeah. There you go. You got time. Also, I'm. Uh, 
I'm going for squints from the Sandlot. That's my look. Oh, that's good. How to how do you how to Google the reference? Oh, I you know oh, oh, oh I know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen the I haven't seen the movie yet, but I Me know neither. exactly who you're talking right? about. Yeah. Exactly. That's a actually you, you know, can you picture got a, it, right? An iconic movie. Yeah. Never seen it, but I know the kid in it. And isn't there a giant dog in it too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Giant dog, uh big kid with red hair. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Oh hey, Dennis man. Leary. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh I never saw this movie, but but I always saw a blockbuster. But like do you do you know what, what movie cover I'm doing? Oh the Big green yeah, or something? Big green, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I never saw that either. Oh, it was such an iconic movie yeah. cover. People love that. Yeah, the big kid with the soccer ball. Yeah. I think that's Sandlot kid. Yeah, you know what? I think he it's just same like kid. has the most memorable face ever. Yeah. Freckly. Yeah. yeah. Wonder what he's up to now. There's like a goat or like a sheep on in, on the cover or on the back of yeah, it. Something yeah, something. Like that. Yeah. Never got to bring it home. Never nah. got that one. I don't know why. No, nah, it didn't. It always looked like an option to me, but didn't I don't strike know. a chord. Yeah. Wasn't into soccer. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I was a little forced into soccer. I had to play it, mm-hmm. but it's so bad. It's so it's really like I don't know. Did you ever like play soccer in elementary school at all? Nah, uh, yeah, like, like at recess? gym or at gym or like gym gym recess. Yeah. yeah, like never like in a like house league or it's, anything. It's so I just remember like it's so crazy because in soccer like you have to like steal the ball from someone so you could literally get so close to them like when like you like collide with them it's kind of scary yeah i remember one time colliding with a kid mark beck people like claim that maybe his teeth like he hit his like tooth on my (gasps) forehead oh there's lots of like sort of wild tales of what happened but i didn't were you bleeding i i think i was yeah but man so that's First bad thing. Yeah. Second bad thing is like I was so bad at every single sport, had like terrible aim, like had no idea how to like direct a ball or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I think it was grade seven or grade eight, but we were learning like soccer, I guess, outside, and they got me to do a corner kick. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a corner kick and like just booted it. It's straight into Jocelyn Lee's face. Broke oh. her broke her glasses. Oh, broke her no. glasses. <laughs> I think there's a number of times, like in gym or whatever, where like I hurt kids like with a volleyball or something, but totally by accident because I just couldn't aim. <laughs> I could not aim and just sometimes it just like randomly like I just it nail is, a kid in the face or something. That is great. I think I hit someone with a volleyball too. Like I just like I <laughs> Bad feeling too. It's horrible. Go, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And it's always someone and that's they like cry and like quiet girl. Yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> innocent. It's always like it's ni- so innocent. innocent yeah. Nicest person ever. Just Boom. nail them in the face. Oh, we have a we have a, a legendary story. My friends and I we always talk about it whenever we see each other. The day it was the day before Christmas uh, break, and we're playing dodgeball, and the last. The last person was uh, Joey, Joey Schneer. So he's the last person on the she, other team? She, oh, okay. She's the last person on the other yeah, team. Yep. Oh, she was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it adds to the funny because she was like a suit, like very nice, yeah, kind of nerdy <laughs> girl. It's always smiling. Yeah. And she was last. And uh, my friend picked up a ball and he went, Merry Christmas, Joey <laughs> Schneer. And he threw it and it hooked. The ball oh. hooked and it went. <laughs> <laughs> the side of her head and she fell back and oh. she slid on the ground <laughs> and like she slid so far that she like hit the wall wow. and we all fell down laughing and our teacher fell down <laughs> yeah. laughing our teacher oh was, it's great i looked over mr coville was on his <laughs> knees like crying and i remember him like trying to be like are you joey are you okay are you okay <laughs> <laughs> and Joey like looks and like starts crying. Oh, oh legend! And just the line, "Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Joey." Joey Sher. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty incredible. Sometimes, like teenagers or like when you or tweens, they just have like undeniable timing, like in oh. terms of like oh, just right. comedic can succinctly hurt feelings so badly. <laughs> But like, like it's such a, yeah, it's yeah. truly like. You look back on just the, 
people from your childhood and just how funny they funny were. Funny they were, yeah. Without even like, trying. I know. And also not, because you and I, we were like, oh. We, we're like, we got, well, do this we got right laughs now. and we're no. like, oh, let's like put it on no, stage. Yeah. Where these kids we grew up with, they're just like, I'm, I'm good at just being funny and I'll but you know what, work though? HVAC or something. A couple of these like kids or whatever, like, I feel like there's a <laughs> there's a point with some of the people I grew up too with, and like maybe like where they thought like maybe like jackass like was a career option. <laughs> 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 you know? Jackass. That was like, definitely a, an yeah, option. Yeah, yeah. That's how big it was. Yeah. You're like maybe they'll do like a, a Canadian one. Canadian or, jackass yeah. junior. Yeah, that, was, that yeah. definitely popped into yeah, my head. They do yeah. like kids jackass. It's like. I love how we all have that. It's like, no, they, they do not want that liability. I feel like no. so, like a number of kids like died during this time. Oh, too. yeah. Yeah. They had the warning thing. Yeah. That's why the TV show like ended because they had so many like yeah. rules. Yeah. I definitely thought of like an all that version. Yeah. Of but with or, like Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I kind of like had like sort of like dreams like that in my yeah. head, like picturing it like. Yeah. All your friends are like cast I members. Thought that, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got like the fat friend. Yeah, and you got like the short kid. Yeah, it's like the wee man and yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. You get you get them to do stuff together. Yeah, yeah. Then you have the friend who's like good at skating. Yeah. That's the bam, you know. It's yeah. I was the Stevo. Eat stuff. You're the, okay. Yeah. Eat things. Just do gross stuff. I think everyone. So many. Everyone wanted to be bam. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. He was the he was the star. I know. I thought he was so cool, fashionable. <laughs> yeah. Just like, I was like, dude, he looks, he was a, f- yeah, his fashion, man. I was just like, how can I look like that? I know. Goth. Yeah. He was, uh, I saw, I, I watched his, some... What's so weird though? Like his personality was so different than the way he dressed, you know? Yeah. Like it didn't line up to me. No, uh, it, like yeah, no, it was kind of yeah. weird. Well, cause he started like, Jackass the movie, he's still like skater yeah. and like Tuke and all that. Yeah. But then you get even beginning Viva La Bam. But then like Jackass number two, he's got the he's got like the scarves. Yeah. And the, you get the him. Him took you, over. You know what? Bill Vallow. This actually totally triggers a memory in me too. There was a time like maybe like grade seven or grade eight where I like was like dressed like kind of emo or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I actually. In my head, I would get so, I would get kind of angry if there was like another emo guy, like <laughs> spiky hair, like hair like that. Yeah. But he acted like a jock or something <laughs> like that. Like he was like very outgoing and stuff. Like I hate. Funny. I was like, I was like, that's not. Yeah. You're not real. You have to match. You know, I'm like, you're not like really like emo or whatever. I was like, no, <laughs> you're a jock. Wow. Yeah. Man, you just brought up yeah that that's definitely a type yeah outgoing emo guy yeah because there's yeah. a lot there's a lot and in, in high school. Wesley oh and yeah. and you know what maybe this you could relate to this but like emo maybe really massive like peaked in like uh two like two thousand four two thousand five two thousand six mm-hmm. but some of these jockier emo guys they had it going like 2008 2009 yeah, 2010 yeah. i met this he was a i met him in grade nine so yeah i was in high school so yeah. that was oh eight oh eight or oh nine yeah and yeah yeah jock emo because oh, I, I, I remember all my friends who went because they went to public school with them yeah and they were like oh dude he was like the best guy like he was so good at sports yeah. and everything and they're like weird like they from grade eight to grade nine he just then had the swoop and yeah the, and like the lip ring and shit, and like what happened to him? And uh, but he was also like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" Yeah, up? yeah. Hey. And like, it's uh, just a style. That's in- that's interesting. Now that makes me think there was also like guys with the emo sort of lip rings and stuff, like on the football team in high school. <laughs> I was like, no, no. Pick a lane, choose one. No, yeah, choose one. I know that is so funny that that used to bother me. So, I don't know why I was. When you had the 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 look going on, would you just be quiet? Oh just yeah, like, hey, I was like, "What's up?" I don't. Yeah. So you I, were yourself putting on a bit of a thing. No? Yeah, you know what? Maybe I was like, I think I also just like went through like you know like sometimes as like a teenager you get really moody or whatever. Oh, of course, yeah. But I was just like. 
Yeah, I think I was like, oh, I don't want to be like a jock. Like, I want to be like, <laughs> yeah. I want, I want, I want, like, I, I, there was a time where it was like, I want to be like, uh, like, like, I think I wanted to be like in like a big, like emo band or something <laughs> like that. So I remember during this, like, yeah. So I, th- I remember during this transition period and like, you know, mixing the moodiness and stuff. Yeah. Went from being outgoing, started reading books at recess, <laughs> a clockwork orange, a clockwork orange. Reading books. Oh yeah, I was reading books at recess. You know, maybe a couple, a, a couple weeks before, outgoing. Yeah. Start reading books. I, re- yeah. Oh my god. And now this makes me even remember too. Like I swear, to God, started reading books at recess. Yeah. So my friends from before, like, they try like hang out. I'm like, dude, I'm reading right now. Oh, like, follow me. My I god. Was- Easy. Dude, I'm reading. I'm reading. Oh. Would you sit on the grass? Would you sit yeah, on the I try bench? to find a pl- try to hide away. <laughs> oh god. Did you kind of in the back of your mind want people to be like, hey, what's Oh yeah, up, dude? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, of well, course. You wanted insane. to be like, I'm reading, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm reading. I'm reading. Can we talk later? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Build the build the mythos. Oh, oh, that oh is it's awesome. so oh it's so crazy. <laughs> awesome oh it's so uh i had that later in life though well you know what grade eight nirvana i kind of oh yeah i leaned in a little too hard with nirvana in grade eight you know what i think that was definitely an influence in me too because like i remember like reading the heavier than heaven book like kurt cobain's biography that came out like in the 2000s like or when I was in grade six or something like that, oh. and you know what I thought to myself when I was reading that, I was like, oh, like I shouldn't be friends with like jocks or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, you know what? I even looked at it as like, like oh, like if I want to be successful musician, like I can't, yeah. I can't do this. I can't oh. do it. So yeah, it's a long-term game plan. That's you know? great. Oh, just insane. I'm, just insane. I have dyslexia, so I remember I had his book where it was all of his like journal oh, yeah, yeah, entries. Yeah. Couldn't read it. But I would just like have it open. <laughs> <laughs> just like have uh, just to show like yeah. his face on the thing. Yeah. Did it, you... <laughs> it was crazy. I don't even know what I'm reading. It's like <laughs> and I'm just like, oh man, it's, it's his it's journal good. entries. Yeah. <laughs> skip to skip to some of the drawings he yeah. has later on. <laughs> yeah, the doodles. Doodles yeah. are great yeah. in this, actually. <laughs> Were you doing that like during like a quiet reading sort of time? Oh yeah, we yeah. had to read whatever that was. Oh yeah. What was that called? There's a name for it. We had uh, in our school is called Deer. Drop deer. Everything that was and read. Hundred percent. Okay, deer. Yes. Did you have some sort of thing like an connected thing, to? If you write a certain amount of books, you could get like a pizza, like a like yes. a personal pizza from uh, yes, there pizza was, Hut. There's something like that. Yeah. There, now I'm looking back, like very not inclusive to people with reading disabilities. No, not at all. I would just stare. And like it's like okay, so <laughs> no, but it's like so you're encouraging your kids are getting freaking stars for doing this mm. kids with learning disabilities like are having a hard time reading and it's like okay yeah. then you're just encouraging them to lie like yeah, say, exactly like, what the heck was that yeah i would just like breeze through and I, I remember in my head being like what's like a good amount of time to have yeah, like a page, a page open of, oh yeah and then when a kid would like turn it and be like all right we probably turned it around the same yeah I, oh I but love then just that. in my head thinking daydreaming yeah <laughs> Oh, probably should turn it now. Yeah. Oh, and I also make sure my eyes moved. Yeah. That was the other thing, too. I would do that. I couldn't stare straight at it, like, kind of, yeah. You know what? Yeah. That probably trained you to, like, be good at acting. <laughs> Honestly. Like, that's good. Yeah. That's, but, like, uh, methods. Yeah, put on a bit of a performance. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I guess it was. I was method, because I, I was watching people really read, so I was kind of, like, mirroring, like, okay, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> well, you got me thinking here, because you and I grew up, uh, you Kitchener, Barry, pretty far, well, yeah. far enough. Uh, but we like had very similar childhoods. And I know it's with doing stand up too, like you talk about stuff. 
I think that's how big like the media was like cable tv yeah that's so true and like limewire and stuff yeah. where it's like you like everyone, everyone liked the same stuff kind of yeah, right i think where so i'm curious now if a kid from kitchener a kid from barry might very would different. they like the same thing or yeah. at least get the same references because there's know. so much stuff now i know i don't know that's my old man question. yeah yeah gen alpha gen Listeners. alpha we're looking for you let us know let us know what the yeah Oh, now we're at. Now we're becoming those guys at the bar, or the thing. <laughs> yeah. Tell us. Yeah. yeah. Tell us. What's it like? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, we could. Uh, yeah, could go on all day about the uh, freaking uh, playground. It's. It was so. Uh, mm. Yeah. Oh. That'd be a good one man show. The playground. <laughs> Do all the kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be great. I can see that overalls. Yeah. Yeah. Be like a little girl. Yeah. I wonder what the story would be, though. It would be like, my time at the playground. Yeah. So the kids I've met in my life. Taking back taking back the playground. Maybe you fight a like, one-man show, but then you go up against a big bully at the end or something yes. like that. Yes. Yeah. I could, and when you do it, you look up like that. Yeah, yeah. But like also, like maybe like everyone's... Like I maybe you're just playing you like you as a kid, but then like everyone's like uh, off stage or something. Oh yeah. yeah, I like that. Like voiceover. Yeah, and then you're reacting to it. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's probably a, a part where uh, dad picks him up. Yeah, back of the sitting in the back of the car. Dad talk. Mom and dad fight. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Something oh, that'd like be that. good. Oh, yeah. you have a stage hand. A stage hand. Yeah, you're bouncing yeah. around, kind of acting it out. Oh, something that, from the fight you've mentioned on the playground the next day. I don't know. Something, there's something there. Yeah. It's about Everyone childhood wants to buy trauma. It up. Yeah. Man, I that just when I was saying uh when I was saying uh something about like stands up to the bully, it just made me think when I got to like my elementary school that my brothers were going to at the same time, I just remember hearing about this kid that was a bully that my that was in my brother's grade okay and bullied i was him or he people. was just a bully in general nice. like would bully a lot of kids so i was actually scared about like going on to the playground as a kid jonathan newton i was like Damn. afraid of encountering him Damn. or something he's like i was just i was just worried like yeah. it kind of like seemed like yeah, There's like a like video a game character though. Like if you like get in his <laughs> radar, like sort of like Zelda or wow. something. Like if you like if you get in like an enemy's radar or something like that, they'll just like you're like locked. <laughs> like in. Yeah. yeah, they're like chasing you around. And did you and they ever won't have stop. an issue with him? I don't know. I don't think I did. No, but I was very scared of Jonathan oh, Newton. I, I hear about him. It's so crazy that. Buddy, yeah. I got Dusty Manchuk. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty Manchuk, yeah. Anthony Snow, two of the scariest <laughs> fucking kids today. I was in grade, I don't know, one or two, and I think they were in grade eight when yeah. I was in grade two or three or something like that. Oh, they were men, like in my yeah. eyes, like, and they smoked yeah. too. They smoked, and Dusty, Dusty would like fight teachers and stuff. <laughs> He'd like swing at uh, teachers, and uh, was he the, was he the <laughs> was he the type of kid that like. This happened at my school too, like where the the, <laughs> the the class would have to clear out, and then it's just the teacher and the kid in the classroom. And then you hear about like a desk being thrown or something Some, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 1v1. mean, one v one. It was my friend's older sister was like his oh, okay. year, so I would hear about all this stuff. And then you would see it. Yeah, you would see him like swinging and like yelling at the principal and stuff. And he would just and he lived near the school. Yeah. Always lived near the school, yeah. and he like. BMX bike and just him like coming around. Oh, like you just and it'd be it's, after school too, and you're like, oh fuck, fuck, just like literally like a like a tiger or like a lion, yes, or a bear going. Yeah, by you're on you. the Sahara, and yeah. you're just like, just don't move too yeah. fast. Like just be pretend you're yeah. in conversation with your friend. Yeah, just in like you're both like pretend talking because yeah. you know he's there. So you're like, yeah, so you know, I don't know. I'll probably just go home yeah. and uh Yeah, because you don't want to run away because then he'd chase you on the bike or don't something. Don't want to run away. Don't yeah. want to make eye contact. Yeah. Because then he's gonna fucking go after you. Uh but uh he was scary. Anthony Snow was really scary. He had a it's white not... patch, like a birthmark <laughs> on his head. So his hair was white. Yeah. And he wore uh uh what was that band? Like Mudvane or something. Yeah. Or it was that um 
from the Warriors, the baseball. Oh, you know the Warriors, the movie. Yeah, yeah I know the Warriors. He yeah, had a T-shirt. It's crazy how I remember yeah. this stuff. But him and all and Dusty and all the scary kids, they would smoke at the bottom of the hill. And I remember walking with my mom, man, like just dreading that because yeah. they would like <laughs> they would like catcall her. They would like say crazy That's... things. They they would say some wild shit. Yeah. And uh, I remember one time Anthony blew smoke in my mom's face. That is so crazy. Like, do kids deal with this now? Like, is this a, or is this just like a suburb thing? I don't know. It was. I felt sick to my stomach. My mom would be like, "She's like, where? What's your mom's name?" Yeah. And he's like, "Shut up." <laughs> They'd all laugh. Yeah. It's like, oh my god. I told the principal all that. Oh, she did. Oh yeah. And then that just I mean, that's puts crazy. a target on your back, though. Puts target on your back. I mean, that's that just. Awesome. It is crazy. Bloody it's horrible. It's long horrible. Smoke in my mother's face. Yeah. Grade three couldn't it's just oh so scary. I wonder what those kids are up to now. Like I wonder. Jail, maybe. I wonder. Maybe construction. Yeah, true. Maybe they turned it all around. Got out of their system. I hope so. It's crazy. Like, Solomon grade eight. I don't know what happened after that. I don't know how high school went for them. I have yeah. no idea. They probably got a rude awakening though. Yeah. I like to think. Oh man, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, these. Uh, these kids, we need to know what is the state of bullying. Yes. Now, oh, you know what though? Uh, the cyber, like it's all right. Cyber, right. You know what the thing is? Is like already, I feel like with social media, I like look way too into social media and like little social media, like, like even like someone reading a message, not getting back to you right away, oh, and just thinking about yeah. all that stuff, like in. But you're in in 13. high school yeah, or like it hormones, must yeah, be a nightmare. It must be a nightmare. There must be actually, yeah, act. There must probably be fights where it's like you didn't share my thing. Yeah, you didn't like my status or whatever. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I was talking to my friend. Uh, like in high school, if someone posted a video, it was like kind of like whoa, shocking. Yeah, like if First, someone posted like a get... sketch or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. I went to school with Gavin Pound, so yeah. I remember he posted a video mug hands yeah and i remember it was like the talk of the school it was like high school viral that's amazing like we all t- and it was like whoa it was crazy oh wow yeah mug hands i wonder if it's on youtube still i remember when i was in high school in like com tech which we did like made videos and stuff yeah i was like we we're making videos but i and i was like oh i would love to be able to put this on youtube but i was just like didn't know how to put a, a video on youtube right you'd have to get it like on a disc yeah and then put it yeah exactly i don't know how to dvd <laughs> like it literally seemed impossible to get something onto youtube yeah. back in the day seemed it, like it daunting. Least so seems so you'd impossible. have to know yeah you have to like know, yeah. know your shit a little yeah. bit is so crazy. Now it's in your pocket, buddy. I know it's in your pocket. It won't leave. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. So I think I wanted to ask you this a long time ago. Okay. Before no, just a couple of questions ago, like a long time ago, when we were talking about explosives and the guy in your neighborhood. Yeah. Did you guys like your friends ever like like? Oh, I don't know. You. Like as a kid, um, yeah, yeah. Like, I just remember my some people I knew, like I just would hear about it, but they would like do something with mayo. They'd put something in mayo, a mayo container, okay, and make it explode. Like I, Whoa. I don't know. Did you did you guys ever venture into mayo? That? No, I don't know. No, they I don't put, know where they found that out. Would the mayo be maybe oil? Would in it the mayo? add? To I don't the know. Thing? I don't know. Or would but it I just be like a... do something? Yeah. In a mayo container, like maybe there's still mayo in it. Like, leave it and then it would just explode. That's amazing. Uh, or they would say so. I'd hear or about Or would it. they just put like a fire? Yeah, you know, like it a might have just been a fire in there. And then mayo is yeah, messy. Yeah, and then it's like, I don't know. It's interesting. No. I don't know. No, we didn't do that. We did uh, axe cans. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Um, I think I've told you this, but my friend Jake, who's actually he's in teachers college right now, <laughs> <laughs> he he made a uh, he would make pipe bombs. <laughs> well, not pipe bombs. He made a uh, what do you call it? It had a pipe on it. It was a, a potato cannon. 
Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And he made it. It was brilliant. He made it when he was like in grade six or so something. So would that just shoot like a potato somewhere? Yeah, he'd stick a potato in and then it had a barbecue lighter that would ignite it. And I, I don't know all the other stuff, but yeah. he did this all by himself and it would, dude, it would shoot over like neighborhoods. That is so crazy. Like it went crazy. I just like... If you're on the other end of that, like you're, wa- you're. Oh, you would die. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even kidding. If you like put it up to I your know. head, I think it would go. I'd fracture your skull. He, uh, my favorite story though, of his is he. So he like built it, and then he put a bunch of bolts and nails in it, and he's oh, in his garage, is... and he like he stuffed it with newspaper, <laughs> and he didn't think it would work, so he shot it, and it blew a hole in his garage, <laughs> and then his dad came home. And he's like, and it's a steel, like a metal garage door. Yeah. And he's like, what the fuck happened to our garage? And he was like, oh, I got mad and I punched <laughs> the garage. And he's like, Jake, there's a hole in our fucking garage. <laughs> he's like, do you have a steel. gun? Like, did you did you buy a gun or something? And he's like, showed him. Yeah. And, he's, and then his dad was like, you made this? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, oh, my God. And then he like, thought it was the coolest thing. His dad's like, my kid's like a genius. Wow, okay. Yeah. And then they oh, took it like to wow. a park and they were like playing around with it. That is so, so it's like a nice but he's like, I this is like stays in my room. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I will get I have to be around for you to use this. Oh my god. Isn't gosh. that crazy? Wow. No. Now he's just now he's gonna be a tech teacher. Well, good for him. In high school. Yeah. I would love to Yeah. I, I I wonder if that was the last big piece of weaponry he made. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I would not want to mess around with that teacher. No. No, not at all. He has he can literally make a (laughs) that like sounds like a like a type of weapon that I don't even know. Did you ever play that game Worms at all? Yes. Yeah, where you it seems like one of those like weapons where like other stuff like flies at you too. Oh the Hallelujah bomb. Oh yeah. Ah! Yeah. Oh, that game was great. I had a lot it of good really laughs. It was really fun. I played it a lot. Yeah, yeah, same. I had a lot of, like, my friends and I would, like, laugh yeah. really hard playing that game. I feel like, they, I I feel like they could do, like, they did, like, a voice, like, you can't, like... Did they? I don't know. Wah. I can't... No, it's very... I don't know. It's very, like, uh... We'll figure... We'll find it I'm gonna, out. I'm gonna YouTube it. I'm yeah. gonna do some gameplay. Yeah. 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 Something yep. I'd fall asleep to. <laughs> History of worms or something like that. Oh, I'm so... Oh, I just can't stop falling asleep to YouTube videos. Really? Do you have the laptop beside you in bed? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just... Well, I go through periods... I do podcasts. I go through periods of like having to fall asleep to something, and mm-hmm. then like then I'm... And then I get over it. But I'm in one of these periods right now. Like I don't you know why. need sound. Yeah, I think maybe when I just am feeling like oh, I got so much stuff going on, or like yeah. overwhelmed or whatever. But oh yeah, yeah. oh I, I'm like that every night. I'm tired all day, and then I lay down. Oh yeah, you get. And then I'm more awake like than I've ever, ever been. been. Yeah. Thinking of everything. Everything. Yeah. And it's, it drives me nuts. Yeah. And then you throw on a podcast, and it just kind of like distracts you a bit yeah you could fall asleep instantly oh buddy i can't believe i did this smoked some weed the other night before bed i just have like from doing weed shows yeah. over the years i just have all these like things yeah that don't smoke Free it at all weed. so i was like oh you know i've been having trouble sleeping maybe a, i know people do this yeah little hit tiny yeah. hit like like i took half of a hit yeah that was it and lost my mind and like like and, paranoid oh yeah emma yeah. went to bed right lights go out and i'm just laying there just oh it's crazy dude oh, and i was doing like breathing exercises and counting it's <laughs> I was just like no nah, no nah, did nah. you I have I could the do feeling it. when you're in that like were you like oh this is what i'm I, i'm never gonna get out of this do you ever think mm, that used yeah. to used okay. to it's okay. ha- i've had so many of these weed induced panic yeah. attacks where i go this does end i'm out like like an hour. Uh, I'm going to be out in like an hour. Do you ever have like, have you ever told someone <laughs> who smokes a lot of weed that you have these things and they're like, oh, I wish I could feel like that <laughs> still. Have you ever had that I've happen? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish Dude. I I would still feel like that. Yeah, high school high. That's yeah. what I heard. Oh, you get like high school high. Every single time. Every <laughs> single time I've ever smoked weed. It's been so bad. Oh, it's... I've never had a good time. I always just get so paranoid. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have I have mo. I used to smoke a ton in high school. And yeah, something happened. Your tolerance went down. And tolerance then, went yeah. way down. And even if overall it's good, there is like a good ten minutes where I I I feel insane. Yeah, but ninety percent of the time I feel insane the whole time. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Lock you up. Yeah, Lock. think about the past. Oh yeah, think, think about, about the future. future. <laughs> think about right now. Think about the present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's awesome. I do not. It's, it's awesome. So, uh, woke up groggy too. Didn't even like help my yeah. sleep. Woke up, felt, it's felt so funny. Over. That's happened to me too, where it's like, maybe you like don't try it for a while, and then you're like, oh, this could actually be good. Yeah. You know? Well, you see, we have enough friends where you're like, you're like oh, oh hey. that's fun. Yeah, yeah and they, that's they like function already. Yeah. No, I don't know what it does. I remember as a kid, like thinking it like looked so cool. That '70s show, I feel yeah. like so smelled good. Yeah. Smelt oh, good it too. makes you so funny. I like remembered <laughs> wanting to like try it so badly. And how old were you when you first tried it? Uh, grade eight, I and guess. Did you feel it? Because I hear the first time you don't really feel I it. Do, I I people. I think I kind of felt it. Mm. I like is like at a show before a show. Crazy. Starlight, Waterloo. Crazy. And uh, I don't know. I think I like inhaled a bit, but then like I was just kind of like, you know, like, you know, when you're like, you want to feel hot, yeah. like you're a kid. You like, you're leaning into yeah, it yeah, yeah. You're thinking. Yeah. You're like, whoa, whoa I'm having this crazy is, thoughts. Yeah. Because you have all hyper. the, yeah, it's so funny. You have all these like sort of media representations of what you think being like high is. <laughs> yeah. Like you think you're going to see like hallucinate. We're going to be dumb. Yeah. That's, now, did it was you, awesome. Did you know there was going to be weed there? Or did your friend pull it out and it was like I a think shock? it kind of like built, like I really wanted to try weed in grade eight or something. Nice. Like it just was built up. Emo. I was like, I have to. And I think that one of my friends... Like, I went to school. I used to go to, like, local shows, and I think one of my friends kind of set it up to be like, yeah, tonight we're trying weed. Like, he had <laughs> this other older girl. Like, gr she was grade nine. Nice. And she had weed, and, like, I don't know, somehow he organized that we were going to smoke uh, weed with her before the show. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah that, A little nervous. Yeah, same friend. Because I think me and him were trying to get weed. Mm. So sometimes we, but we couldn't get weed ever for a bit, like in grade eight. So sometimes he would like steal his sister's cigarettes and then we'd oh. like, we'd like hang out at nighttime and like go in a bush and smoke <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> I was thinking we we're both so short at the time. <laughs> so I was like, now if I saw a kid that short, grade eight, like smoking a cigarette, I'd be shocked. Shocked. But I guess that was the norm, like years, like in the thirty, like for the years. 30s, our parents' generation, yeah. for sure. I think those grade eights at my school, like I think that was yeah, kind of weird. True. Yeah. But I think like even that, it's like whoa. Buddy. But you know, it seems like when you're young, I feel like it just seems normal. Like, yeah. but maybe being old, you're like whoa, whoa, because like so that's young so looking. young. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was asking my friend this. I can't believe we used to stand in front of, like, the LCBO or beer store at 15 and just ask strangers to buy us alcohol. Like, we'd have a 20. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked almost every time. Yeah. There would always be someone. Yeah. It was good if you got, like, a young guy. Like, yeah. if you got, like, a 20-year-old. Yeah. Because he's, like, kind of in that world yeah. still. Or you get, like, an old kind of, like rough looking dude yeah and he's like all right yeah. i get to keep five yeah like, yeah, okay. yeah yeah but i was talking to my friend i was like i would never do that i would never do that either. 15 year olds yeah, be, you buys like, alcohol i'd be so worried I about never one of them getting that. hurt or something getting hurt getting you know, caught like yeah. you, you'll get in so much shit i think you're buying alcohol for minors honestly i think we're com coming off the heels of the 80s and 70s night yeah i feel like it was and maybe it still is but like i feel like like getting really drunk in high school was just like really romanticized in like movies and stuff like that. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Like it was like, that was seemed like what that's high school, like every yeah. movie, American pie, every yeah, getting... dazed and confused. Exactly. So weird. Yeah. Yeah. We were on the heels of that for sure. Also, I feel like Canada being Canadian is a kind of drinking. Like, yeah, it's a thing. I don't know, maybe it's an American thing too, but I 
feel like just in general, Canada, it's like a beer. Yeah. Have a beer at the cottage. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's my kid. And that's why my kid's getting homeschooled. Homeschooled. Yeah. Homeschooled. And he's vaping. Homes. Yeah. Vaping's fine. And I'm giving him partakes. I know. No, no, Yeah, I know. Give yeah. a kid a partake. Why not? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> what? You buy, you're outside the store. Yeah. And yeah. Then you yeah. buy them partakes. I go, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the change, toss buddy. Toss them it. Yeah. Toss them it. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What? You, you weren't specific. And then you could be that 30 year old guy <laughs> that gets into a fight with a high schooler. <laughs> try to fight you. Kid's bigger than me. <laughs> yeah. His older brother, who's like oh. 17, <laughs> fix a fight with oh. me. Oh, so I'm sorry, dude. Okay, yeah, yeah I'll go back in. So yeah. what was it? Moosehead? Okay. I was, uh, yeah, I'm just picturing a video just like popping up, like just on, like, on the Instagram of like a kid <laughs> recording you like fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Yelling. Me not wanting to do it. Yeah. Dude, come on. This is a waste of time, man. Yeah. Come on. It's not worth it. It's not punch in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I never hit him. I just kind of like hold his arms. Yeah. <laughs> stop. Stop. Yeah. Oh, humiliating. Oh, it'd be. Dude, I could. Uh, it's... Yep. That's why I... any time I like him in public, I see teenagers. I'm instantly scared. Yeah. I've heard a few people say that. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't It doesn't scare me. Really. I get okay. it though. Like rowdy. Like eh, sometimes they're rowdy. Yeah, like, you know what? I think I I just like uh, are they gonna make fun of me? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But then I gotta be able to take it. I just have to be able to take it. I think I'm the same, but it's uh, early twenties. Yeah. Okay. Well, same. same yeah, yeah. Like I I see like grade twelve. Like they just look dopey to me. Still. Yeah. But I'm it, just worried like I'm gonna yeah. get like someone's gonna throw something at me. Sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But. They like they do like mind games. They like ask you a weird question. Yeah. Do you know where North is? Yeah. North is. Yeah. Do you know where? Like you know you like something yeah. like that where you're like, oh, I feel like this is like an inside joke. Joke. Or something. Yeah. No. Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Oh. Idiot says what? One of those. Yeah. Yeah. You hit them back up with that. You oh. you got out sass them. Oh, we had one in the schoolyard that I never understood. Have you seen the movie? Have you seen the movie? Dumbass says no, or something like that. It oh, was someone like, says that to you? Yeah. Have you seen the movie Dumbasses Say No? Or Losers Say No? I've seen the movie Losers Say No, and you go, no. no. And they go, huh. Okay, yeah, yeah. I never understood it, because you're you're asking if I've seen them. Like, I'm not a loser for saying no. Yeah. You're asking if I've seen them. Like, you're talking about a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, <laughs> I never tried to explain this yeah. to my friends in grade yeah. five. I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, if you, you said broke it down if you said like, loser say yeah, no yeah and, and you say no then you're a loser or it's idiot like says what said and they already said what when they were asking you too so yeah it's like idiot what? says what makes sense yeah because I said what now yeah, I'm the idiot yeah have you seen a movie called L- loser? that that, that doesn't <laughs> no. make me yeah. the main yeah. character of a movie if I say yeah. no anyways that's oh what... you can't win <laughs> you can't win something I think about when I'm laying in bed yeah, high yeah I'd like to see you argue with. Uh, a kid about that. Oh, I probably will. Yeah. I'll go viral. Oh, that'd be great. You know what? I bet you I won't get into a fight, but if there were to be a video of me, I bet you I'm like yelling at a <laughs> yeah. kid. Yeah. Definitely good. Yeah. Just being like, so? Yeah. Okay. And that's my fucking problem because why? Something like that. Oh, I'd love to see it. Yeah. I hope it doesn't happen to you, but I... I'd... Oh, I hope it doesn't no, either. No, that'd be... But I don't... Uh, yeah, but I'd like if to... If it were... Yeah, make it a sketch. La- lands down bus. Yeah. I, yeah. That's you, where you see it. You keep hitting me with your fucking bag, dude. Yeah. It'd be something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just a nightmare. Yeah. Call um, me an old man or something. Oh, that would that would hurt. That'd be crushing. Because <laughs> six buzz. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's tough. It's tough out there. Yeah, millennial. It, it's crazy how this stuff just sticks with you forever. Now, I guess we've been talking for an hour and we literally just talked about stuff on the playground. Yeah, it's uh, great. Playground. Yeah. But you know, we got to do some business questions. Of course. Uh, got to ask you about the new special. Oh, right. Yes. And I, I got asked, how does 15K views feel? Feels great. We're at 16 now. Oh, that's amazing. As of this morning. That's amazing. Buddy, it actually does feel good because I really did not think... I don't know. I just I don't really have a following or anything. Yeah. So I was kind of just putting it out there. And YouTube. 
YouTube, YouTube can be hard. YouTube can be hard. And, yeah. Uh, and it's all, you know, it's m- mostly people I don't know. And it's people That's amazing. Who genuinely like it. And the like to dislike ratio is really good. You can see the dislikes? Yes. Where? Do, where just like... Studio. You go oh, into your YouTube oh, studio. Wow. And I, uh, yeah, I think I only have like eight dislikes on it. Oh, that's good. Out of like 500 likes, something like that. Yeah. And I've gotten messages from a lot of people I don't know just being like... This is funny. Follow. That's so good. Getting, getting some followers now. That's so amazing. And I did it all myself, and I feel uh, generally proud of myself. And I, I think it's a great special. I think it's really good. It's a culmination of like a lot of years. It you is. Know? Yeah. Were there even some jokes on there from like uh, before your first, like before Bing Bing? Your mm. first album? Or, or are they all after Bing Bing? They're all after. Okay. But there's a few right before covid that oh, okay so i have some i have some 2019 things at a and then 2019 2020 then covid happened but yeah i held on to them so yeah it's a, some jokes that are like four years old that's great yeah, yeah it's uh and i'm happy it's out and uh and that people are liking it and it's a weird thing because you put this you put it out and then you're like oh yeah i don't know keep going yeah, yeah, I gotta keep going, but this also just I like just like put so much work into this thing, energy yeah. and all that. But yeah, it's, it's uh, weird. yeah, it's a nice little celebration. But then I have to remind myself, it's like yeah. the grind keeps on going. This yeah. is just yeah, yeah, the grind. I'm also trying not to look at the numbers and stuff. I'm just trying to, because I know I don't know. I just know you could from, get obsessed with. I that. know from the past, you know how I've I I can, I don't know. Social media can make me feel yeah. So going into this, I was like. Yeah, have Don't put too much weight on it, you know? But yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, no matter how many people saw it yeah. or whatever, you'd be like, it was great either way, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, and it's not, I'm not putting out a thing where I'm like, Ugh, I'm just putting out to put it out. Yeah, exactly. Like, I actually want people to see it. Yeah. You know, I, I'm very uh, proud of it and happy with it. Cool. And Bob Hobbs, a shout child, out to Bob. Childhood friend directed it. And yeah. He, he got all the camera gear and everything. So it literally would not be this level uh, without him. So well, I'm sure that you'll be uh, splitting the YouTube check with him. Yeah. Once we get in, once I, I, I do you know when I can. I know that I don't know. Like I something? think you might need like 500 subscribers or something. Ooh, then okay. you can like monetize or something. Got you. Got you. But I still think it's. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, for I think like I could be wrong, but I think like years ago it was like every thousand views is one dollar American. Whoa! So it's like <laughs> it's like, but maybe I'm okay. totally off by that. Hey. But yeah, either way, just something. No, it's so it's so good because there's so many. Um, yeah, yeah, man. Thank Dude, you. That's awesome. Thank you. It's also on Bandcamp. So if you want to Bandcamp support, that's a good me, way to support. Give me some money. That that helps a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, I also, I want to ask you this because I didn't know how, you know, we just launched into a conversation just like a couple friends. We didn't talk as much about the entry. We talked about what led us to entertainment, yes. I suppose. Yes. But uh, I wanted to ask you this, but now you're. Eight, 16k views yeah you're kind of you're kind of her contemporary so i gotta <laughs> ask you i gotta ask you because i didn't know how i was gonna how we're gonna approach <laughs> this interview uh never know you never know you but never uh, know. i gotta ask you is bobby altoff is she just doing between two ferns <laughs> yeah i think i think borrowing i think borrowing, borrowing i think you know I, I wouldn't say it's a total steal rip off but uh no i think it's good i do no i know i actually never even put that together was there anything before two ferns that was like that was in that vein i don't know awkward awkward ali g ali g maybe yeah would would you say maybe jiminy glick yes jiminy maybe he's a character so you know what now that we trace it back it's a long lineage right of uh what what, what's the art called like interview gotcha comedy interview or gotcha interviews yeah, I don't know. Awkward interviews? Yeah. Yeah. I had to ask you that. I don't I don't know. You yeah. played it safe, eh? I you play- played it safe just in case. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah. Now, well, what do you think of Hawk to a girl? 
You know what? <laughs> Haley Welch, as I call her. Oh, uh, okay. She, she, she has a name. name. She has, she a, has name. a name. Hey, I, I like her. I think, I, I don't know. I think, I think it's... Uh, Honestly, I'm just like... I think it's a fascinating time we live in. And it, I think it's cool but, that this can happen. But you know happen. what? And also, I think she's like... It's like, I don't know. She got so big off this thing. And she's just... She's just riding it. Why totally. wouldn't you? Oh, and, you no. Know? Yeah, no hate. No and, like, hate. I'm not, like, and she doesn't have a bad attitude, so I support I support Haley Welch. One thing I will say, though, and this has nothing to do with her, but they made a video of her. Have you seen this? Oh, like, of her hometown. Her, of her hometown. Yes. They meet her grandparents. Yes. And her grandma's like, I always knew she was special, you know? She always had this, yes. this light about her. Yeah. And, and that I'm going. Yeah, we traced. She talked, she talked about spitting on a dick. Yeah, like yeah, we traced. Why back are you making though. like a Barbara Walters I know, interview I know. thing? That's my only issue. I know. It has nothing to do with her though, buddy. Also, I but just the ride in the wave. Oh, oh, lady's calling. Okay, I'll uh, I'll call her in a bit. But yeah, oh, well, I have yeah. to head out pretty soon. Yeah, what, well, buddy? Uh, it was such a treat to have you on the Canadian Entertainment Podcast. I need. This is my first interview I've done. It was is a big conversation, right? Yeah. Conversational. We went. I remember my piano teacher was obsessed with David Letterman. Yeah. And she always she, she didn't like Jay Leno, and she always said Dave had more of a conversation. Jay Leno just wanted to ask the next question. Wow. Just was thinking that. Piano and teacher sometimes said when that. you're taught, sometimes when you're. In interview mode, you could go. You one side of you is Jay, one side of you yeah. is David. So plus I was, left brain, right brain. Left brain, yeah, totally. NBC like, or CBS. And oh, yeah, I stole the show from Jay, uh, uh, Dave, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta ask you uh, before we leave. Any advice for um, young people <laughs> trying to pursue Canadian entertainment? Yeah, man. Uh, go it. Go. Just go for it. Go for it. Make your own thing. Yep. Make it. Put it out there, and uh, just love this great land. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're a juggler. No, juggler, poet, uh, clown. Yeah. Mime. There's room in street Canada. Street art. Yeah. Yeah. There's room. There's room in Canada. We we can all eat. And we need us. You know, we haven't had a. I haven't seen a, a Canadian street artist pop off at the same level as Banksy or anything like that. So th- that is on the table it could happen and isn't that just so ironic banksy's at the ago right now i know i know of course yeah yeah just kind of takes away the whole thing anyways i don't want to get into that but yeah well that's part that that's uh we'll talk about that uh that's where we're going to start the next time we interview sam (laughs) volume two thank you so much for stopping by uh the canadian entertainment podcast studios uh uh, we'll have a drink and dinner after the show. Yes. Um, and this this is what Canadian entertainment is all about. Just building bridges, mm-hmm. talking to other entertainers, seeing what's going on, and just trying to make a life entertaining uh, the masses of Canada, one day the world, and we'll see what happens after there. There's some... I've done some studying, and sometimes... the. I don't know if if there's life forms that come from out of the planet or if they come from underwater. So everything actually might be just here. So Truly. Yeah. Wild. That's a great place to end it. Great place to end it there. Okay. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.